Hey everybody, it's Pat. How are you doing tonight? It's Tuesday, right? I think tonight's Tuesday. Um, you know, you have a few days off and you don't actually know what day it is sometimes. Um, so we are going to recreate, well not recreate, we're going to make another one of these pillow things. It's pillow wrap. That's what I'm calling them. Um, it turned out super cute. Um, I need to still buy the Velcro. Didn't get to town today to do that. I uh, did get my cheesecake made for tomorrow and my pumpkin pie. So this one, of course, says peace and joy. I did put a little shout out earlier um, so you guys could help me decide. Let me get rid of some of these things here so I can see comments. Help me decide which transfer to use. And hey, Sandra, how are you doing? Um, which transfer we were going to use with this cute vintage truck sash. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do a little video to show you exactly how I made this, but we need to finish it up. Um, and we also need to use, this is one of our banner refills, a part of it. We're also going to chalk this, and then we're going to put it all together. Um, you can't see my head. Um, let me, uh, yeah, let me adjust. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we, we moved things again and, um, let's see if that works better. I think you probably can see my head now. I got my hair done today, so maybe you need to see my head now. <laughs> That's better. Now you can see everything. Well, maybe not my head. Yeah, see, there we go. Anywho. I got, I got did up today, um, my annual six, eight week, whichever. But, so we are going to use Good Tidings. Uh, this piece is, uh, it's about seven inches long. It's five inches wide. It's more than seven inches long. It's about, about 14 inches long. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I will put this, when I do my video, I will put this on. Um, measurements and everything so you know if you decide to make one uh, perfect and beautiful <laughs> hey Sam Cynthia how are you doing um, glad you're with us so first of all uh, we are just going to chuck this and get it out of the way so it can dry um, we're going to use good tidings and uh, we're just going to do it in black because I think it popped on the other one um, and if we remember we're going to do our star and shimmer copper no I was gonna do it in shimmer silver but that's out of stock so we're doing it in shimmer gold um, y'all know I'm crazy we went out and had dinner with Jeff and Allie and my sister and my niece all came um, so we had a good time uh, we are going to I'm going to use uh, the back of my squeegee just to make sure we don't have any air bubbles back there we don't need air bubbles. We know how much we love them. Not. Okay. So I had this smothered, smothered chicken stuff. It was pretty tasty. Yes, it was. Oh, you're fine. Mike makes all sorts of noise. Don't tiptoe, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, did you find an HL? Did you find anything good? Oh. Oh, yep, and Cynthia's getting on the road when she's done with work tomorrow. Well, you better have a safe trip. I know you're going to see your sister. Which is really, really important. Stick with the fam. Okay. Um, so I know that this piece of fabric that I cut out uh, is 8 inches wide and 36 inches long um, then my piece of um, fusible webbing which is what I made it in here to make it a little stronger with that piece is seven inches wide and about 17 and a half which is 30 35 long because we wanted it a little bit shorter to go in there so um, all we're going to do on this of course is taste it you could use this um, and heat set it if you wanted to 
run this through the washer. Uh, however, we're just going to use it for the season and then we, we can pack it away. Um, it shouldn't have to be washed because it's going to be a decorative pillow. I'm trying to, trying to save that star. I'm trying to stay away from it, steer clear and all that. So, remember I told you that I could not find my white paste for anything. I heard it drop. And I looked for it for days. On my hands and knees six times looking down under. Um, anything that it could possibly have rolled under. I had Mike looking on his hands and knees looking for it. Could not find the thing. And then I thought, you know what? I had my travel bag. The one I take to my workshops and all. I had that. On the, on the floor next to it, I said, well, so I went out and looked, it fell right back into the bag. Yeah, so it was there the whole time. I just didn't know it was. Okay, ooh, our gold is down to the wire. Uh, I have another one, so we're good there. Uh, we're just going to use our multi-tool, of course. Um, Whoa! Thanksgiving 70, Christmas is 50. Wow! You had quite the haul, ma'am. Good for you. Hey, when you find things on bargain, you gotta snap them up. I know that all too well. So let's get this shimmer. Remember, you gotta push your shimmer paste through a little bit better. And the other thing, so I found my white paste Oh my goodness. So remember that big old thing of black buttons I bought a while ago? Haven't used them yet. Can't find those either because I was going to put, yeah, I know I'm a hot mess. Uh, I was going to put buttons on the corner of that pillow wrap. Uh, they'll get there eventually because I'll find them somewhere. Okay, so off we go and we're going to pull slowly. Oh, looking good, looking good. All right. So we got our good tidings done here. Make sure I don't have any color on my hands here. So there's our good tidings. All nice and party. The little silver star. Our gold star. Oh my gosh, I got silver on the brain. Probably because I, I had that pulled out and I was convinced myself that I was going to do silver. Well, yeah, no, we didn't. Um, so let me clean that stuff up. Ellie yeah, went upstairs. Uh, Mike's in the... Yeah. You guys going to bed? I'm playing cards. Oh, we're going to play cards. Yeah. Fun. Well, don't get too far ahead of me. I'll join you when I'm done. Gee. Yeah, I'll never play catch up. We played rummy last night with kids. I tell you, you didn't need to spend it, but you did. Oh, you gotta cheer yourself up a little bit. Yeah, so we played rummy last night. Oh my goodness, I got creamed. I'm not the best card player anyway. I was up for a little bit, but not long enough. Ugh. All right, so we got that part done. And I already plugged in my my uh, gun here, so we're good there. I wanted to make sure it was hot. This is going to be like a slow, tedious process, but you got to know how to do this. If you're going to make one. Like I said, I'll make, me, make a little video tomorrow because... Uh, we're having dinner at 2, and everything's pretty well done, except I forgot to buy stuffing stuff, but my daughter-in-law doesn't like it, and the rest of us don't need any more bread, so there we go. So, so I cut my 18 inches of fabric, and then I put some spray starch on it, and then on the back, they have this stuff at, um, at the fabric store, it's called fusible webbing, so one side of it... Um, has all these little dots on it. The other side is flat, and it and it kind of makes it um, a little more stable. If you're and trust me, this should probably be done on a sewing machine, but no, nah, 
I didn't want to do that. Oh, man. It'll be a silver eventually. I know, I know. Um, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. You too. I know you're cooking all sorts of yummy, yummy good stuff. Sorry, you're looking like a fool over there, but I can't see the comments. So, after I put the webbing on the back, I, I made it thinner. So, we have an edge here, and then I just press the edges down. So, that's what we're doing next here. We are going to use our glue here. We didn't know you'd watch that movie before. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah. And then we're just going to hold it down with our fingers. And we're going to do that all the way down the edge. And hopefully, I will not cut myself or burn myself. I better not cut myself with a glue gun, right? If anybody can can do it, it'll be me. I saw that. No, I'm not many movies you haven't listened to anyway. So we're just going to continue and go all the way around. I probably could have done this, but hey, we like to chat, chat and spend some time together. So and I saw this done a different way. Uh, the picture had it just on muslin and tied around the back. Uh, it was just a piece of muslin with no backing, so I thought, eh, we'll, we'll judge it up a little. But, and, and you can fold this as you go, but I kind of like to, um, have it done ahead of time. This way, I think it gives gives me a little extra insurance on maybe it'll look a little bit better. You know, a little little straighter, a little a little bit better. Um, she's wearing yes, one for each of you. You're both watching me. Actually, when I was doing my prototype, I used them then too. You'd be proud of me. Yeah. Uh-huh. All I need now is Jocelyn. And you guys can tell her I'm being a good girl, too. I remember I had, uh, I had a couple of small ones, but little ones of those in my room when I was a kid. And, oh, Grandma got them. Yeah, I don't know. Grandma gave them to me or something. But they had, they had wet sound and they had oil. I'd like them out there once in a while just because they're pretty cool. I got some glue over here, but that's okay, because we're going to flip this around. <laughs> hey, I, I'm paying attention. You guys are not going to get me tonight. Well, you might, but not on the fingers. And they do make fabric glue for in glue sticks, but... With regular playing cards, Unless you're going to wash it, you really don't need it. So we'll just finish this part up. So this is just really, um, most of this is in the, the prep, the prep work. Um, getting your um, fabric all cut, which I cut it with a rotary cutter, so it wasn't too difficult at all. But how easy is this, and how cute to dress up your pillows? Because who wants to, <laughs> who wants to buy um, sixteen pillows that you got to put away in store? This way, your everyday pillows you can dress up for the holiday. I don't normally because I'm too lazy, but I know a lot of people uh, decorate top to bottom. Um, I don't normally. I do the tree and a few other things, but eh, I got lots of lots of crafty stuff after the craft fair next weekend. I probably whatever I have left, I'll probably put out just because I've got it. I might as well, right? Right. I'll have to get me out another glue gun because it's 
project uses quite a bit of glue. So what kind of yummies are you are you cooking? Hmm? What are you guys making to, with to go with your turkey? I know Cynthia said you you were cooking. Uh, I know Sandra's cooking because Sandra's the one who cooks in the house. We are having turkey, of course, um, and corn, which my husband is happy about. We used to use washcloths or face cloths. Yeah, there you go. That makes only the only the ace. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Pillows out of towels sometimes. Sometimes I I've, I've made um I actually have a one that's um like Fourth of July that I made out of out of yeah out of towels. It fits a bed pillow size. Um, it works really really kind of cool. All right, so there's a, there are our, our sides. So let's get our end done here. And this I pre-folded as well. I got a big old blob of glue there. And then when, whoops, that's too far. When we uh, get the rest on here. So I should have pulled it toward me a little bit further. I got a big old glob of glue in my fold. That's all right. When we get the Velcro on it, it won't show. Anyway. Glue is our friend. Ooh. Turkey dressing, yeah. mashed potatoes, green beans, and Hawaiian rolls. It was yummy. Um, I made a cheesecake in the Instapot. How fast was that? And a pumpkin pie. Um, we're just gonna have mashed potatoes and corn and gravy and biscuits and turkey. I said turkey. I didn't even get any cranberry sauce. What a bad mama am I? Of course, I'm the only one who eats the cranberry sauce, so I guess I'm the only one I'm disappointed. And dressing. I didn't get stuff to make dressing, but oh well. I can just eat cheesecake fine with me. Okay, so one more end here. And we'll have this part wrapped up and then we can make sure everything else is dry. And put the rest of it together. And tomorrow night I fix that other uh, little thing that we were working on the one that wouldn't stick because it had too much wax i think don't think the wax was dry anyway i sprayed it so we should be able to do that little box tomorrow night um the drop cake in your crock pot Ooh, you're doing oh boy you are like ham Dressing, broccoli casserole, English peas, corn rolls, pecan pie, chocolate yeah, pie. Oh, okay. my, not doing too much. That notebook's chaotic. <laughs> That's not too much, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm coming to your house. Make up the bed. I'm on my way. <laughs> okay, so we have everything all nice and tidy now. As I said, you could do this with... Um, you could do this with a sewing machine. I'm too lazy. Um, what did I do with my, there it is, my good tidings. Um, let's make sure we have that nice and dry. And once I find those buttons, I'm going to, you know, put some string through the buttons and, and glue on, uh, glue the buttons on corners. Because I think the buttons will just like put it over the top. So what is a drop cake? And how do you do that in your crock pot? I've never done that. I like the Instapot thing though for the cheesecake because it was done in like 30 minutes and another 15 minutes cooled down and it's going in the fridge real soon. Just in the back of it. 
Okay, that is nice and dry. So, it's going to hook on our, we're going to put our Velcro on the back there. So we want to make sure where our good tidings is going to go. So we're going to kind of put it, I don't want to put it right in the center so like I'm not measuring from the sides because it's going to flip over in the back. Um, where I'm going to put my Velcro, um, this pillow is a 16 inch pillow, which is good for this size if I have it squished up. Whoops. Um, but what if people have 18 inch pillows? So I'm going to put two rows of, um, on the back side, I'm going to put two rows of Velcro and then one on the top so you could either hook it to the first one or the second one. So you can make it do a small pillow or a bigger pillow. So I don't want, that's why I don't want to put this right in the center because we want to have it go wherever we need it to. So we're going to put it right about there, which is a little closer to one edge or the other. You can also put piping or whatever. I just like this one because I kind of ripped the edges. Um, so I'm just kind of eyeballing top to bottom here. Um, maybe pull it down toward the bottom just a little more because we have trees and then the, the trucks will be here so we can see them. But just doing the same thing here. Um, we'll put a bead of glue down on one end. And we're just, this is all just hot glue. Like I said, you, you got, got yourself a, a sewing machine, have at it. I do, but it's out there, buried. <laughs> yep, buried. Okay, so on we go. I'm going to do a little at a time because I don't want to get too close to the edge like I am. Gotta get me another glue stick because we're almost out of this one. Yours is buried in your closet. Yep. Ah, mine's on the front porch somewhere. It's a nice sewing machine. My mama gave it to me. <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure where on the front porch it is. the corner. Oh shoot. And we'll turn it around just a little bit over here. And we're gonna get this side done. Finger. Yes, I'm using my fingers because I've done burned them once too many. I'm going to burn them this week. It's going to be on cooking. Just got to remember to shut my glue gun off and put my pie and cheesecake in the fridge. Almost done. And I did put the supplies in comments. If anybody watching on the replay needs to know what I use, they're in there. Um, yeah, this is actually like pretty fun. And if there's very little math involved because I can just like measure a little here and a little there. Because my mind is not a mathematician. That's for darn sure. Math was not my strong suit. So remember numbers. Is it Jim Rummy that you play or each card is its value? I think Jim Rummy, you hold them all in your hands until you're done and you gotta play them all at once. Oh. Uh, That's Jeffrey's style. That's me style. 
Okay. Ow. That's what he does now. Okay. Unplugging that glue gun. I think that's the glue gun. That's not the glue gun. There's the glue gun. We'll plug that back in because I want to use it and I won't be able to. So, there we are. Good tidings. How simple was that? And then that one. And this one, as this is just a pillow I got from, from the craft store as well. But So we have enough so we can either make it a, six, a, a 16 inch pillow or we can pull it back and make it an 18 inch pillow. Should have got my clippies. And how cute is that? So there we have it. Look how easy that was. Look how cute it is with those trucks. Cute, cute, cute. It'll be a whole lot cuter when I put those buttons on it if I ever find them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. If anybody has any questions, pop them down below. Like I said, if you're watching the replay, thanks for watching. Um, any supplies you would need would be up in the first comment. Um, if I can help you with anything, let me know. I'm glad you were here with me tonight, everybody. I will see you tomorrow night. Cynthia, you drive careful going to your sister's. Uh, I know it's going to be a long day for you, but you take care. Drive careful. And everybody else, I'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. Bye. Oh, it is Wednesday. <laughs>